Okay, hey guys. Oh, I got a package back there. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I haven't done like a mukbang in my car in so long. It feels so weird, actually. <laughs> Let me just... It's kind of cold. It's kind of cold, actually. So I don't even need air on or anything. If you guys haven't seen, <laughs> my first ever cover just came out. Um, I'm kind of gagged for it. It's a European magazine called King Kong Magazine. But if you go to kingkongmagazine.com, you can order it if you're in the U.S. or wherever you are in the world. It's like this like art magazine. I think like this photo centered magazine um and i got one of the covers they have nine covers angelia fox was on one of the covers and i was on one of the covers for my cover they chose me in my kfc uniform which was such a funny shoe i worked with this really young photographer named tessa who shot has shot so many amazing people and she had such a vision it was like i was in a gray t-shirt i was in my kfc uh uniform and uh, like a like a in a tanning bed like she had such a unique vision where i was like i was like putting grass on myself that i didn't like, I couldn't see the vision. Like, I was like, oh, my God. I was so excited to get this cover magazine. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm going to wear my KSC uniform with, like, black leggings and black sneakers. It was not, like, a cute version of it or whatever. But I kind of lived for it that that was the cover of this magazine. And it's my first cover. And I think it's cool. And the comments were really nice. The feedback was really nice. Like, this feels like a real cover. Like, this is, like, amazing. We love this. So I was really excited. And it turned out really, really good. The photos turned out amazing. I ordered five copies already, and so I thought I'd get some KSC to celebrate. I think my cough is finally going away. It's weird. I've had this, like, cough for a minute. I went to urgent care. I went to the doctors, and, the, like, they did the x-rays, everything like that, and there was, like, no explanation from it. <clears throat> when we were in Vegas at the beginning of September, so, like, literally a month, like, a month ago, I, um... There was a lot of smoking. There's a lot of smoking in Vegas, um, and, like, outside, I guess, and, like, waiting for valet and all stuff like that. There's just a lot of smoking, so I think, I don't know if it was, like, the smoke that got in there, but, like, it's been gnarly, and I haven't been sick. I haven't been anything. They, like, looked at it. I didn't even get antibiotics for it. They're, like, you know, there's nothing, like, in your lungs or anything, so, I don't know. I just had this, like, crazy cough, so I think it's finally away. So, on the podcast, oh, I got a bucket of chicken, by the way, to celebrate. There's a little bit of a vlog footage of the photo shoot at the end of this. It was really funny. It was just so random, but it was really funny. I have another cover coming out this month, so I'm really excited about that, too, but... Um, oh my god, I haven't had KFC chicken like this in so long. Mmm. That's so good. So, it was really cool. It was a cool photo shoot. I was honored. Anybody wants to take my picture. And it was fun. It was definitely the vibe. But, yeah, on my podcast... Like, my one with carrot top. I was like, oh, her laugh is so fake. It's so... Oh, my, when I laugh, it'll trigger a cough. It's so weird. It's so bizarre. And I got tested for everything. COVID, bronchitis, pneumonia. I don't have any of it. I don't know. But. I'm going to go home and film Hot Topics. Now I'm getting hot because I'm being champ. <laughs> but you guys, life has been going really good. Hopefully that's not too. Life has been going so good. My mental health has been really good, which is the most important thing. Watching Malibu every day just discover new things and do new things. She's doing G's now, like good, good, good. I mean, she's done balls. She's done her bees bear bomb and now she's doing g's i fell more and more in love with my husband every day last night he made the best vodka sauce ever pasta vodka um, it was so good i was gonna make it i was just gonna casually make it because he didn't have steak and he did but we hadn't gone on a walk in like a month because of my cough so we went on a walk yesterday I was like, you know what? 
I'm gonna have some pasta vodka tonight. We went on a walk. <laughs> um, so I got the ingredients and I was gonna make it. He's like, I'll make it. Like, you know, just send me the recipe. So I just sent him Steph Pappas TikTok. So she makes it so easy how to make it. And it was the best vodka sauce I've ever had. It was spicy. It was so good. He spoils me. Hardcore. And every day he just surprises me more and more. I'm like, can I help this man? And definitely food is the is the way to my heart. Mm mm mm. This is so good. Mm. Okay. How are you guys doing? I feel like I haven't done one of these in so long. It's so weird. So like, this channel, I don't even know what to really talk about anymore. Because I do two podcasts a week. And Mondays is kind of like my personal catch-up day. It almost feels like redundant to be on this channel, but I don't want to abandon it. Like, I love it so much. But the thing is, too, is like... Today I was craving KFC because of the, seriously, because of my magazine cover. I influenced myself. Oh. But I feel like there's been no new menu items, like stuff like that out. So I feel like there just hasn't been like a motivation to go get fast food. I don't know. We've been just cooking at home. Actually, my husband's been cooking and he's such a good cook. He's such a good cook. Oh my God. Like, I enjoy cooking. Well, he's better at it. He's just more precise, like, with sauces and stuff. I just guess. <laughs> I don't measure ever. Are you guys watching Love is Blind? <laughs> this season, they're all a mess. Love them, but they're entertaining. That's for sure. But usually there's like some couple that are in love. I feel like this season, like, no one likes each other. We all just wanted to be on the show. It's my favorite, though, of all the dating shows. Love is Blind. <laughs> Am I the only one that kind of feels bad for Izzy? Like, he was all over TikTok because of the 50 50. He thinks you just put 50-50 with his partner. And Stacey was not having that. Look, I I go, I go, see both sides. Like, hey, girl, Stacey, if you work hard and you want your man to also be an equal contributor, like, yeah, okay, but you shouldn't go on Love is Blind because, like, don't expect, just in general, people to be up to that level. I respect Izzy for being honest and be like, I can't do a 50-50 lifestyle with someone who wants a luxury lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And everyone was going so hard on Izzy, but at least he's upfront about it. At least he didn't like say yeah, and then like later on she discovers he's not like that. <laughs> I don't know. And um, Milton and Lydia, like <laughs> Lydia, I'm sorry, I never liked her after what she did. I forgot her name. The one was with Uche. After she was trying to be all shady with that girl. And sabotage their relationship. I always side eyed Lydia. She just wanted to be with anybody on the show, I think. Oh, oh she wanted to be with Uche. Messy, messy. I don't know if eating all this KFC skin before. Before Hot Topics today is the move. <laughs> but here we are, huh? I don't know where all my napkins are. Oh, they fell! Oh, no, they're here. Um... 
but yeah thank you guys for still being here i love this channel i'm not gonna abandon this channel and i'm not gonna abandon my asmr channel although i did kind of abandon my asmr channel podcast does take a lot of work because like i we're like filming and in interviews in advance so some days i'll film like i'll do hot topics and then two interviews a week someday i've done every single day um like i'll do hot topics on monday and then i film tuesday wednesday thursday like interviews and the reason interviews take so much time and energy is because like the night before i have to research so i'll be up i'll i'll start at like 7 p.m when my daughter goes to bed and like skip you know dinner and like show night and just like research my guests next day i get up at 6 a.m to glam the guest comes at like 11 a.m we do photos we do all that stuff like that and then we go for about two and a half hours we usually cut it down a little bit so it's like three o'clock when it's done i gotta eat and then i'm like exhausted that's the only reason i've really done my asmr channel this channel i'm kind of like well i kind of talk about stuff on them but i do love it um moses is in the process of building me like an actual tavern for my tavern asmrs and stuff so i'm, I'm not abandoning it although it's been abandoned you know i guess you could say so i should have these while they were fresh I waited too long. I was getting so many text messages before I could even film. Mm -mm -mm. These are good. I'm gonna crispy. yeah it's weird like i mentioned it like a month or two ago we kind of stopped trying to have a baby like not not stop trying but not be so focused on it like i never tested for my ovulation day but we were going like every single day trying to get pregnant and it would consume my mind and this month i, I just was more relaxed about it like you know just go back to the old like when you're in the mood you're in the mood but i'm not gonna lie like not not being pregnant i haven't got my period yet and it is late but i've taken pregnancy tests and they're not pregnant and when i was pregnant it was like the first time like it, it was right away so it's just so frustrating and like i said i try to say like oh we're not even trying like i'm not thinking about it like when it happens it happens but it still bums you out every month But really, truly, I'm getting in the headspace of, like, I'm still giving gratitude for two children. Like, you know, being thankful as if I already have my two children. I do think it'll happen, but I'm also trying to think, like, and it, it's working. Like, being in the headspace now of, like, just appreciating Malibu. Because when you have a second child, I'm sure that changes your dynamic so much with your first child. So, it's, like, this is such a special time that I'm, like, really trying to focus on that for real. And it's been helping. I think it's just like when it comes to that time of month when you're supposed to be getting your period, you just kind of think about it. And it's just like, oh, okay. Not this month. Oh. I really do love the older Malibu gets like every single day. She becomes so much more expressive. The way she looks at me her eyes she's so excited she's so happy we had such a cute spooky date night oh that's the other thing if you miss my vlogging which i didn't do too much i guess i did a little bit i've been vlog vlogging like crazy on my tiktok <clears throat> just like fish 88 tiktok has like really gone up as far as like rewarding the creators like giving you it's almost like ad revenue like ad sends and like i always talk about this like, i used to make like a thousand two thousand which is not bad on tiktok but for 100 million views you know you get like fifteen hundred thousand dollars but they've really gone up and like rewarded like if you do longer content on there so i've been doing my like every like daily vlogs somewhat daily like maybe three times a week on there so if you miss like day-to-day -day stuff i post right away on there Tex and moses to see if he wanted some kfc But yeah, got some mac and cheese. I got him a potato. He wanted small mashed potatoes, but I got him large because I'm like, well, maybe I'll have a bite of his when I get home. 
<clears throat> but I'm so excited the podcast is doing so well. Like, oh, I am so excited. It's so much fun. It's really my, like, it sparked passion again for, I, I, I like, love sitting in my Rolls Royce and eating. It's obviously just, like, therapeutic and simple and relaxed, but... Filming the podcast is, like, truly, like, filming my TV show. Like, I feel like Wendy Williams all the way. <laughs> and it's super cool. And it's, like, literally just in our house, and we get really good guests. And I just love it. And when you love something and, like, people also like it, it's just, like, a win-win situation, you know? And I've done so many things that failed that I love, like, Trish Talks. And there's so many things. My Lost podcast. <laughs> And that's fine too, you know, but when people like it, that's why I love doing ASMR last year. Like people really were into it. I was really into it. And now I have this like TV show type show and it's just so fun. And people like it. So it's like a win-win-win for real. And it just feels, it just feels right. And I get to interview like, like amazing, amazing people. So this is super cheesy. <laughs> I love pasta. Anything noodles and cheese I'm here for. And it's feeling like fall now. It's so cool. And cozy vibes. We had such a short summer here. It's actually crazy how fast it went. Okay, so fast. Mm mm mm. Mm. Oh no! I did so good this whole month, babe. Oh my god, I gotta retouch my lips, anyways. But yay! I'm on a magazine cover. Actually, we shot at this KFC right behind me, so it was cool. It was such an honor, like I said, to have anyone. I've never. I guess I was shot for like one. I did one. There was an article written about me. It was like New York Magazine or something. And it was cool. There was like a spread in there about me. But to be like on a cover. <laughs> and I have a second one coming up that I already shot for. It's coming out like within weeks. Like what? The universe has really lined up showing me like you're on the right path. Keep going this way. And gratitude, visualization have a lot to do with it. But really, truly, is focusing on positive. I'm telling you. It was so hard for me to stop looking for critiques of myself, like criticism, comments. Like, it was hard. Because I was such in a routine to check things, like check comments, check places that talk about me. And like, you know, even good and bad. Like, good and bad. Like, people defending me, people, whatever. It's like, I just don't want to be caught up in any of it. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm just going to live my life because I can't. I would see people defending me, so then inadvertently I would see things bad about me. So I was just like, let me just not focus on what anyone's saying about me, period. And it's been the best thing. And we moderate comments on the Just Trish podcast so I can check those freely and safely. And they're just so beautiful. I'm telling you, once I started focusing on just like me, my family, positivity, like things that feel good, like my life has changed. Because it's been, I think it's been two months since I've checked any gossip, comments, anything about me. And it feels so good. If I see something on TikTok about me, I like a scroll right away, like even if it's good. Um, and it just, it just feels nice. I don't know. It's just, it really, that I think is like the biggest turning point with me in the past couple months is like really just focusing on that and things that I need to hear all here. You know what I mean? And I can just take it information differently. And when I do hear something bad or bad news or whatever, I'm able to just keep it moving because you have to, you can't dwell and focus on something that you can't control or whatever. You just got to keep it moving. And I'm telling you that's been the secret to happiness, secret to success, um, to the universe wanting me to win. The universe wants all of us to win. It's felt good. And with the new podcast too, I think, yes, yeah, so we talk about like drama topics or hot topics but I always keep it lighthearted. you know I, I definitely never come out of place of judgy anymore I think before I'd be so judgy and so hateful so I try to look at it out of place now that's just fine because at the end of the day we all gossip about hot topics you know even when I was like not giving my opinion online 
like we would still talk about like the try guys like at home or you know what I mean like you still talk about it and that's how I feel I feel like if I just keep it like lighthearted and cute like it's entertainment at the end of the day you know um just not taking any of it too seriously and all that stuff like that so I think it shows I think it reflects I feel good about it I don't feel like you know I'm like attacking anyone or anything like that I think it's I think it's good vibes. I think it's entertaining vibes and I think it's lighthearted and again, not coming at a place of judgment, judge, judging or hating or anything like that, you know? And even if I start to like, like Rachel Zegler and the whole Snow White thing this summer, everyone was talking about, it was like, <laughs> for some reason she was bothering me in the press like everyone else, but I really had to take a step back. I'm like, okay, this is like young girl still trying to navigate it. And it's like, it's good exercises for me to really, really stop the, any sort of judgment in the track, you know? And it's, it's, it's fine, you know, but it's, it's, it's all, it's all a process and, um, I definitely never come at like an attacking place anymore, but, um, anyways, focusing on good, focusing on positive and yeah. All right. I'm going to go pick up my hubby's KFC order and go home. This is my Benford tools from home improvement. So I'm going to show on Disney plus right now. I'm obsessed with it. Um, yeah. Okay. Enjoy this vlog from my first magazine cover. Ah! It's photo shoot day and I still, is that yummy? Is that tasty? We do this little thing with the spoon. Can I mix it? Yeah, mix it. Dee 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 dee. Um, nom 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 nom. Dee 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 dee. Want some? <laughs> nom 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 nom. Mmm. <laughs> Can we mix? Dee 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 dee. Oh, nom 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 nom. Um, nom 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 nom. She has a spontisa. I love these kind of toys that like, it's like little sugar in it, not the brush, but a little sugar in the tea set. Isn't that tasty? Oh my God. You want the sugar? You open up the sugar for you. There you go. Close up the sugar. <laughs> Mmm. Can mommy have a bite? Ah! Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Did you mix it? Here, mix, 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 mix. Mmm, mm, that's so good. Thank you. Um, <laughs> play stuff is my favorite because I play pretend on my ASMR and YouTube channel every single day. So getting to play pretend with Malibu is so fun. She like thinks it's so funny and we have so much fun. So I love these sets. I feel like um, this one is for like her age, but I feel like when she gets older, she can get more of those like play sets, especially my ASMR stuff. Um, I have such like play makeup and play like blow dryers and stuff. You guys, this is so weird for real. I mean, maybe it's like a pimple underneath, but um, <laughs> it's like a bump and like I have like three of them. It looks like I got like Botox. I think I got bit at the hair salon. I really do because I looked in the mirror and it looked like there was like a fly just sitting on there, but like I don't think it was a fly because I like knocked it off and I saw a spider in my purse. What's that? That looks like the galaxy. Are you popping them? Okay, let me pop them this way so you can pop them. She like loves these pop-up things. Yeah, go for it. Pop them through. <laughs> and these two, like this one, she's like so smart. She like does the little strings. I didn't even know how you were supposed to play with this. I'm like, how do you play with this? She like pull the strings and pop them through. You have to pop them this way. Um, but yeah, doing a photo shoot today. So excited. It's for a magazine that's gonna come out in Europe, but it's in print and I'm very excited. And I'm actually on the cover of the Americana issue or American issue, I don't know. That's a big, big play thing over there. Um. Uh-oh, I dropped my toy. This is the uh-oh song, uh-oh. Miss Rachel has a song for everything. She likes flying into this bucket right here. What's in there? I dropped my toy. <laughs> Thank you. from Malibu. Oh, you share with mommy? Thank you. <laughs> oh, my friend.
touch it. Thank you. Um, nom, nom, nom. Mm, that's so good. Um, nom, nom. Up. 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 Okay, let's go up. Up. There's Moses, everyone. That's my husband. What? <laughs> five, five, five. You look hot. Babe, we need to get your car wash. We had two car washes. Babe. Moses refused to get his car wash, and there's a cobweb on there. You don't have cobwebs on your Jeep. You're not a real Jeep owner. We get car washes every two weeks, and Moses never really, babe. I did not see that till just now. We live in the mountains. We right? just got our car washes yesterday. We live in the mountains. They go off road in one minute. You look hot. Ride and cowboy ride. <laughs> Love you. Okay, I'm going into In and Out. <laughs> in and Out before my shoe. I'm just getting a plain burger. I would love to get a cheese fries and a shake, but I'm just getting a plain burger. I just get the bun and the meat. And yeah, like I had toast this morning. And so I'm not like, obviously, I'm not someone who's like, I can't have carbs or anything. Like, me bloated looks the same as me regular. Like, regular me looks like bloated me. You know, I don't bloat. <laughs> I guess that's the good thing of being kind of rancy. You know, I guess there was, I think it was Bridesmaids where Melissa McCarthy's character's like, yeah, I don't bloat. <laughs> um, but it's kind of true. I mean, if you've ever been, like, plus size or bigger, it's like you don't have to worry about, like, your, your dinner showing. By the way, my hands look like they're, like, have, like, dirt on them. Like, I literally self-tan last night. And my hands are so dry and porous that it like absorbs so much. And it's really the giveaway right here. I need to go put my fake nails on because it's like literally like, yeah, it looks a little crazy. Luckily it's a photo shoot so they can smooth out my hands. But I got my hair and makeup done not too early. Usually I get it done at like 6.30, I'm done at 8.30. I got it done like 9.30, I was done by like noon because like we talked and got coffees or whatever. But um, it's now noon 30, so my shoot is at three. <laughs> so I have to make this makeup last. But there's a reason that I got it done early is because you guys know I love to film content for all my platforms. So YouTube is just like a quarter of actually, I used to think like, oh, once I'm done with YouTube videos, that's it. But there's TikToks, there's cameos, there's the other site, there's so many things. There's like TikTok live now with the NPC streaming. Like there's just so much stuff. Um, and then I have my ASMR channel. I have this channel. This vlog will go up when the magazine is out. So this video will be like a month out. So then I'm like, okay, well, I need to film another video so I can post right away on my channel because I post very up to date. I don't like pre film a million videos a day like I used to. I literally film like pretty much, I'm lucky to get one main channel video a day. So, is that interesting to anyone? I don't know, but it's definitely a full on content day when there's glam and YouTube is literally like, if I'm filming, let's say, let's say I'm doing ASMR, I'm doing a main channel, I'm doing like a second, so like I'm doing a vlog, doing a main channel, doing a TikTok, doing a TikTok live, doing other other platforms, doing cameos, like that's seven pieces of content. So like literally, yeah, like a third, or I don't know, half, <laughs> half of a YouTube. Um, but, and then on top of that, I'm doing a photo shoot today for a magazine, so. Just booked and busy, and I'm very excited about it because they're bringing a stylist and a photographer, and I always like days like today. I like to see, like, what the style is gonna be, what the vibes. The photographer's really, really talented, too. They sent me her name in advance, and, um, like, her style is so different than my photos that I obviously, like, take on my own. Like, I have, like, I have, like, a, are we gonna hit something? This drive through is literally so tight. Let me just go over this curve, I think. We're gonna just curve it. Probably so bad for my tires. No. Oops. Oops. <laughs> yeah, this is like hard to get through. Um, oh, I hope I didn't ruin my tires for the shoot today, though. Because I think we're like going out and about and taking photos. Oh, but anyways, this. <laughs> I feel like I need to go check out all. There's nothing I knew about now, so it's like, I'm gonna like go on the heat and room and makeup. Um, but her photos are really cool. Like they're really like almost like polaroid -y. <laughs> I don't know if that's like the right term, but I love a very like I'm kind I'm really old school. Like I love like early 2000s Playboy, like blown out, glam, like just soft, like everything. Um, but I know this like new era of like photography 
media and stuff. It's, and I love getting my photos taken by like photographers who have like a totally different style. Like I love it. I actually love being styled in a totally different style. Like I don't know if they're gonna use my clothes or they asked me my size is so I don't know if they're bringing clothes or what. But I love. There was an interview I did. I always I think I talk about this a lot. And it's not even like these interviews like change your like life or anything. You know, they're just they're really just more fun. And it's cool. They're, they're just like fun and cool and whatever. It's cool. Was with Paper Magazine. I did like an actual interview with them. They came to my house and did a photo shoot. And they styled me for it. So they had a stylist. They brought like jewelry and like shoes. And it was like such a different like look and feel. And those photos were so iconic. Paper Magazine. Like you've written articles about me since then. That were actually like nice about my daughter and stuff like that. Like please just release those photos. Because one, it was a month out of once a month before I moved out of my apartment with the kitchen floor and they did a photo shoot on the kitchen floor but I was in like high fashion and I think there was like I was like laying down my legs were up they had these like flare red pants with like this like red turtleneck and like red shoes and like it was my glam people I kind of like this actually I wanted to see those photos so bad and then they pulled the interview um because they found my um you know when I was questioning my sexuality back then or my gender identity like they, they thought it was offensive as a lot of people did and I you know I don't talk a lot about it because I'm not one of those people's like well you're not meant to get offended by it if you're meant to if you were offended by it like people are allowed to feel how they feel and I feel like every time I try to explain myself like some people get it and I'm saying all this now and this thing is coming out like in all sincerity again this is not the title of the video this is not me like pandering for views or whatever like that in all so sincerity right I will say if I was trolling I will say if I was like wanting attention like the political videos I definitely just wanted to make money like a cash grab if I ever said like I was voting for Mitt Romney like that was cash grab like chicken nugget I was on I had a substance abuse problem back then um there's there's so many times where like I'll admit like I said a dumb thing or whatever this is order but in in the bottom of my heart I really did meet someone on tour I said in that video I met someone on tour who was telling me about their journey transitioning and stuff and I just I related to what they said and so, so I was like maybe this is because I was struggling with who I was my identity I wasn't comfortable being hyper femme at the time um and that was like my whole identity up to that point like there was just so much and I was questioning so much now we have names for it non-binary you know like and it's, I think it's beautiful I still consider myself to be non-binary I consider this to be such a character and such a fun character to play but I, it's not, anyways, I was, I was so confused, but I, I met someone that I'm like, that sounds like my story. And I was, I thought I was, oh, hold on, let me, let me place my order. Hi. Can I just get a plain hamburger, just the meat and the bun, please? Just the meat and the bun. Yes. Fry? No, thank you. Right, it'll be okay, thank you. You too. Um, and like, to me, I thought that was, I feel like I was my sincere moments were like on the kitchen floor like no makeup like I feel like that's when you could like tell I was like being sincere back then um and I guess I just don't touch on a lot of that because I just one like I don't want to stir up if anything was triggered for someone I don't want to like stir that up I don't want people to think like I'm making an excuse but it's like rather like an explanation of it because I see that get brought up a lot and the other one being um and this is a really maybe this shouldn't go on my fun like photo shoot vlog but um you know was this video I made I saw a video Anthony Padilla did with um someone who had dissociative identity disorder and I related so hard to it I saw it and I was like maybe this this is like when I wasn't going to active therapy I was like maybe this is what I am maybe this is what I have um just the splitting and the personality shifts the disassociating the black like all this stuff like that I was like that sounds like me and I mean that in all sincerity and it's like I think the people who hate me will always just be like you're trash you're trash you're trash and then what triggered me to really and again I can deal with triggers now and I think when you're mentally ill as I am like you have to you're responsible for dealing with your triggers right but what triggered me then I made that video and I was being like like I don't think I could have been more sincere in that first video Anthony Petit and his girlfriend, and it's like not to bring up drama, you know, because it's like it, it is what it is, but they did showed something of like putting me basically in the trash. Like it was like an icon, they like watched my video and they're like putting me in the trash or something like that. And like 
oh my god did that like crush my soul because I one I really liked Anthony P's videos he was really nice to me when I met him I was just like shocked I didn't know his girlfriend or anything I was just kind of shocked because I was like wait you just did this whole series exploring this and making it like um what's the word like known like this thing more known about what DID was and is and I had been told I had it years ago when I did this documentary about Marilyn Monroe it was called like it happened here or something it was on stars I think it happened here and so like years ago I was like oh like someone had told me that that's what I had and so I then I saw this video and I was like I relate more to it and people just like took that but mo most importantly, it was, it was Anthony because it was like the one platforming this and like the one that like was so supportive and empathetic and understanding of these people. And so for him to do that, I was like, I was really triggered. And again, I don't blame him. I don't blame anybody because I like, I wasn't in treatment. I wasn't taking care of my mental health. I was a sick person and I just like wasn't getting help. So I take full responsibility for that and not like being able to like recognize a trigger. It triggered me. I went off. That's when I did those stories like screaming like, I know when I disassociated or blacked out, as I call it in the past, because I go into a rage where I don't remember and I don't consider myself, like I never consider myself to have like a temper or be an angry person. I feel like this is a whole video on itself, but like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna loop it in and not like make it a title or anything like clicky because I just don't want it to be that, like I'm being like so sincere. But I know when I, I do that and then, then it, it activated this troll mode where I'm just like okay people are making fun of me let me just go to the extreme so now it looks as if I'm mocking and in my head it wasn't like let me mock this it was like let me just be so outlandish so outrageous I recognize this in other influencers who've talked about their mental health problems where people already think they're so unhinged so crazy so they're like let me just give you crazy let me just give you what you want okay let me be unhinged to just go so extreme that people okay, they don't know if it's performance art or if it's this, but it's actually, for me, I'll speak on my behalf, like, it really is a trigger and, like, something almost snaps in you where you just go into this, like, one, rage for me, and two, almost, like, a character mode, like, troll mode, like, let me just be this obnoxious person that everyone hates. It's not an excuse at all. Like, it's it's, it's embarrassing. Like, all those things are embarrassing. I wouldn't say the trans video was embarrassing. Like, in, in all honesty, like, I, I struggle to this day with gender identity although I think more now I'm just like I'm just me people just know me as me um like obviously this glam is like it's it is hyper femme but that's not me that's not me in my everyday and I feel like people know that they see it or you know like it's just not me it's definitely like I go into like a character I guess I'll say where to me it's almost like a different identity not to go into like the dissociative thing but it's almost like a different identity so we actually had Dr. Drew coming on the podcast Friday this Friday which is gonna be like a month past so I'm I would love to talk to him a little bit about this and like have it with like treated with like professional gloves and stuff because I never want to be offensive anymore but even back then I wasn't looking to offend I wasn't looking to offend so many people and I'm not to say that I didn't and it's not whatever but that was never my intention my intention was always to be like look at me I'm a clown look at me like give me the views look at me I'm oh this is just attention I'm just like performance because like there is that fine line for performance artists right of like what's real what's not and I did consider myself at that at a point but it's also like I said it is embarrassing some of those things are embarrassing my rages are embarrassing me my, my those kind of videos are especially now that I know so much about my mental health and triggers and stuff like that um it was it was embarrassing so we'll just leave it at that and um you know, I feel like I address this stuff like so many times, but it's like people, unless it's like in a bold title, people don't see it or like want to see it or don't watch the full videos, which is totally fine. But I feel like I've talked about this so many times. Um, but I guess I just bring it up again because that paper magazine shoot was around the time of the trans um, video and they just thought it was really offensive. And I remember I sent an email back and said like, hey, I'm really struggling. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I understand. Like, cancel the, cancel the trip. But I'm like, I really am struggling with like who I am and my gender and like what I'm comfortable in and like my skin and then I went back which is fine I ended up going to take the trip to New York this was um 2019 I ended up taking the trip to New York my mom and sister were always gonna come with me because my sister was gonna do my hair and makeup and my mom always came with me everywhere and we already had the tickets because I booked the ticket they weren't flying me out because I think I was supposed to do the interview there they weren't flying me out but they're like if you're ever in New York so I was like I'll be in New York you know I'll make myself be in New York but we already had done the photo shoot prior that week prior 
and then so that was like October and then I think like November that seems about right we went out to New York and I had to tell them at the Olive Garden at Times Square I was like hey this is like kind of embarrassing because like the next two days I was supposed to be doing the interview with Paper Magazine I was like hey this is like kind of embarrassing but like they called off the interview and I like I start crying at dinner and I'm like I didn't want to tell you guys I was gonna just like go to the mall and walk around and just like pretend but I'm like I just want to tell you guys and they were like I'm my mom and sister like the best they were just, you know they're like why won't you tell us like don't worry like it's fine like you don't have to be embarrassed and then we ended up having a really good trip anyways that's the first time I saw Beetlejuice on Broadway like it ended up being a really good trip went to free people we went to like the the ice skating rink like it was it, we did the NBC studio tour it was like really, I love New York it's really fun but yeah I was like so embarrassed and um, my family's always had my back and they understand they know my heart and stuff even back then even in my trolling days like in my heart of heart like never would I want to make anyone feel bad about themselves even back in the day you know I think I get that reputation because I've like exposed boyfriends or whatever and it's always just people like that were close to me and even then I feel bad like even if someone like didn't treat me right or I felt slighted like I, even then I still feel like Ugh, I should have made those videos but aside from people that I knew like personally like that on a romantic level which is maybe like two people three maybe which is also like again not right embarrassing all that stuff like that like I never ever would want to like hurt people like you know I but again I never looked at it as that way um especially with like mental health stuff especially with like personality disorders especially with you know sexuality because it's something that I'm so sensitive to but I just felt like comfortable enough to talk about it because like on tour I met so many people who had sh like share their stories with me and I like related to them if that makes sense and then there's some videos that are just like you know so stupid like when I did the like men men are superior to women that was the Andy Kaufman bit and I just thought like I, I literally stole it word for word like women should be in the kitchen making carrots so when I see these people being like trolls or women being misogynistic and stuff like that I'm like I know what they're doing because it does get attention it does get money you get a certain audience from it, it it's not the way I would want to go trust me it's embarrassing you have to live with it for the, your whole life the rest of your life when you have kids when you get married I will never do it again hi hi how are you I'm good how are you well. okay. thank you thank you okay great Thank you. Oh. Ah. Wow, so <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks. Okay. You, you too. Thanks. thanks. would be to not troll because no matter what you think in the moment like it lives with you for the rest of your life and let me tell you you change so much as a person even before I had my baby even before I got married like you change so much as a person and like I was embarrassed that stuff like before even any of that and then like guess what now you have a baby now you have a husband and you're just like wow like that's actually so embarrassing and it's so I like part of me is like it's not worth the money I did work a lot of jobs that like I really did not like and then I'm like oh but like I like if I could tell my younger self I'd be like it's not worth the money like keep who you are intact I mean look I'm a mess I'm a mess and that's just like my brand and like kind of thankful for it because I'm just always a mess but I just wish I wasn't like a mess on purpose like I wish the messes would just be my authentic messes that I could like learn from and grow from rather than like manufactured messes which was such a bad idea all in the name of money. I don't know what Taurus what they say. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good. Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. You too. Bye. She was so sweet. Oh, then there's people like that who are just so sweet and so nice. And like, really, it's like, Again, I wish I could have just been like a better person my whole career for people to like be proud of me. Because you know, some people find stuff or read stuff like just a headline or surface level stuff and be like, oh my God, that's, I do it too. There's people who like want to be on my podcast and be like, oh yeah, there's so many followers. And then I'll like look stuff up and I'll, I'll see the headline of like something they did that was like racist. I'm like, oh, I really don't want them on the podcast, you know? And it's like, racism to me is like something that's just like not tolerated, like zero tolerance. Because I feel like that's something we just all knew even back then you know what you mean like if you did anything like racist or said racist things or something like 
I don't know, even racist jokes, like, I kind of look at you kind of like funny, but, but other stuff, I guess, like, that's a side, but I mean, I didn't have the personal podcast, obviously, for a reason, so I was just like, oh, okay, like, this person kind of, you know, um, and I, again, I do think people change, but uh, just, again, just be careful of what you say. Okay, is the lighting going to be good over here? Not as cute. I'm going to eat this on my TikTok, sorry, y'all, TikTok be, TikTok be it now, again, I'm back on the TikTok thing, so I'm going to eat this on TikTok. But yes, thank you for sitting through literally the 20 minute in and out drive through for a burger. But we love that. We're not mad at it. Hopefully that explains some things to people who like me. And to the people who already just like me for it. And sure it just like enrages them more. And I'm so sorry for that too. I'm really not trying to. Um, just just trying to do my best. Okay, bye. Mama, mama, mama. <gasps> mama. <laughs> mama, mama. What are you seeing over there? Mama! I love the way she spins herself. Where's the mama? Mama, mama? Abba, abba, abba! Abba! Oh my gosh. You get so excited when you. She's saying mama. Yeah. Abba. Abba's mama. Yeah. <laughs> Abba, Abba. Abba, Abba. Yeah. Good job. Mama. Abba. Abba. Oh, no. Oh, let's do a haul already. I know. Target baby let's haul. Yeah, let's go. Oh my goodness! Oh. Oh. Wow! That's so cool. What are the little people? What? I've never heard of this. It's Barbie and yeah. Okay. It's like tiny Barbie. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Is that funny? He loves the Barbie. Yay! She knows to pull them out. Pull them out. Look at the back. What is that? Here? Here. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's so cool. Oh my god, that's so cute. Barbie They're the same. Uh, oh, yeah, the little people. <laughs> <laughs> More of them. <laughs> okay, let's get them off. Oh my god, more little people. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do with all these people, Malibu? These There's just people. so many, so many people! Yay! <laughs> she's like, give me those people. She's so I know. She's like, give me those tiny people. <laughs> she's tired, but she wants those people. Wow! It's so funny. She usually doesn't care about like the dolls as much, characters. yeah. But these are like little like her size, so she's like, yay. She likes the cocoa melon one that's in the bath with her. <gasps> wow. Is that you as a pilot? Aww. Yeah. I'll take that one. Okay, I'll take that one. Thank you very much. Oh, and there's a pink doll down there. Wow. And some luggage. They can all go on the airplane. <laughs> That's so cute. Like, like a food oh, card. yeah. It's just like lost. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Without the plane. I know. Oh, my God. That's cool. That is cute. Wow. Up, up we go. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> That's funny. He likes the sound. Up. Yay. Okay. You going to stand by yourself? <laughs> now I'm back home getting ready for my shoot. These are some shoes we ordered. I don't know if we're going to use it if it's like two on the dot theme. But when they said Americana, but when they said American, I was thinking, please are heels. All my shoes I've been having to buy a size up because my foot literally grew a size up since I've been pregnant. So yeah, I have to get rid of all my sevens and I'm buying eights. 
that's my life. I'm not mad at it. I love buying shoes. I also have our little first Rosh Hashanah kit for Malibu. And also I kind of want to use this for ASMR. And we got this giant popcorn bowl too that goes really cute with our set. It kind of looks like a dog toy to me, but let's see. It's got giant popcorn. I'm trying to get the popcorn on it. Like it kind of looks like, <laughs> I don't think it's a dog toy. I don't know where it's from. And then just some more Rosh Hashanah things, like this little apple, apple and honey. So, yeah. I finished my Hebrew class already, but I ordered these cute little notebooks for it. Where are they now? We're back at the tanning salon, everyone. I'm very excited about it. I self tanned last night, so I'm extra tan today. <laughs> the vibes. This is my wardrobe. Um, so, did you ever do the yeah. spray tan? Yeah, the... this is like you have to turn. There's an episode in Friends when he forgets to turn, so it just keeps spraying the front. That's it. Yeah. It's so funny. Oh my gosh. And then it happened to me because sometimes you don't hear it. You're just like in there and it's so fun. I used to work at a tanning salon. Like this is our level one. Um, you can go 15 minutes max if it's your first time. We burn a little bit. Um, we recommend going four minutes. And yeah, there's face lights. You can turn on and off and fans. I love it so much. So you control it yourself? It's from the movie pod. Yeah, it's right there. And there's like oh, yeah. fans for your face, fans for the body, the music. <laughs> it's so fun. I How like, long are you in it? <laughs> I would go, like you're only supposed to be like 15 minutes, I think maximum, but like where I grew up, they let you go in for an hour. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we had to run back home and get some sneakers, but we're gonna do the final shots out of KFC, y'all. This magazine's wild. I was in a bikini, we couldn't show that because it's like a lot. But I was in bikini, I was winter tanning bed, like I had like jean shorts and a gray shirt on, like a t-shirt. I like it, it was simple style. Then they're like, let's do some in your KFC uniform. I was like, bet, yeah. We did like a selfie style in our house. Like it's really interesting. I love the photographer so much. Oh my gosh, her name is Chasa. She's so cool and like such a vibe. Like I always think like everyone's so young, but I was like, oh, this is like the age that like everyone is at their peak, like in their early 20s. And she's like very young, but I was like, I'm just older, but it's cool because she like likes my vibe and we like vibe together. So I like working with photographers and artists and stuff that are like young. They have such a different like look and like feel and it's cool and it's fun. So yeah, all right, got some sneakers coming. There was a discrepancy between sneakers and stickers. <laughs> I was like, do you have the sneakers? He's like, yeah, they're in the bag. You sure? They don't feel like there's sneakers in here. Yeah, they're in the bag. Okay, then I get there, I'm like, where's the box of sneakers? You're like. You didn't see sneakers. I'm like, I said sneakers. I, like I was like, oh. I mean, a common mishearing. I don't know. But we got them. We're close to the KSC, so we're going back. You smell so good. It's like really cinnamon or something. Yeah, it really does look good on 
but I know, I guess it's not because the sun's going the opposite way. It's a, or, oh, oh, they did have, That's what I'm saying, like the, oh, is it a mix of the two? They did have a cappuccino blast. Is that, is it with Oreo? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Those two, those two things. That's what I was trying to figure out. That does look kind of good. Kind of well, we could get one of each. Since there's two of us, we just finished the photo shoot, so we're getting some Baskin Robbins and then getting dinner after because that's what we that's do. How we do it. Oh, I look good. We should get a picture together today. I finally have like my makeup on. Me too. You always look good. <laughs> Ice cream. ice cream the oreos okay like this cone looks really good can i get that too i really want to try that or is my lips gonna get on it i don't know oh that's so weird yeah, like coffee. it wasn't oh i thought it was gonna be more like shaky yeah like a coffee blended this is like you said it's like what is that like white syrup on it mm -hmm. oh my god i love the whipped cream oh wait what are you talking what? Oh, <laughs> just eat the whipped cream. There's like so much cookie crumble on this. Mmm. That white chocolate is so weird on there. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. That's whipped cream. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Is that good? I love whipped cream. Oh. He's like, do you want whipped cream and Oreo on top? I'm like, mmm. Mmm. Wow. To be like the picture. Like what picture? Oh. oh, we should take a picture in front of that. I didn't even think about that. Because Cold Stone is never like the picture. <laughs> never. This one is just like it. We just had a photo shoot. It was so fun. It was so, so different than any of my aesthetics, and I love that. Like, where are we gonna have dinner tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I should like some ice cream. A little appetizer. I mean, I just like really love food. It's crazy. It's crazy, like how like exciting it makes life, you know? Like, oh, what are you gonna eat next? And like, when we have that good food, like lasagna. Mmm. Oh god. We should cook lasagna too. Mmm. I love being a good one. At least tomorrow. Well. Maybe Tuesday because our house isn't clean, our kitchen's not clean. Like the dishes we dishes already. <laughs> Lasagna is my favorite. We haven't had that in a while because we had big CD and then hmm. I was just so indulgent. <laughs> Lasagna is just like so comforting in all season summer. Well, the amount of time we put into it. I mean you I mean <laughs> you should do a full one of just you layering it in real time. It's like 45 it's literally 45 minutes. I've clocked it. If it doesn't take you 45 minutes to layer your lasagna. <laughs> it's great. I did. I layered it in like 15. Mm-hmm. No. I did. No. I was the OG lasagna layer. You did do it best. And I do kind of love like, I get spoiled. Like I've gotten spoiled so lately. Moses has been cooking so much. 
and I feel like we should always just like kind of help each other but honestly at this point you just like have taken over but I don't mind it like I love it because I'm kind of like wow I like cooking though too like I like to be in there like making the sauce but I like both and I also get to just hang with Malibu too she's like oh yeah because before I mean because somebody needs to watch her so mm -hmm. right because she would sleep a lot before so I mean it's like princess treatment I'm just like Spoiled. Yes, I would say queen. Mm -hmm. Princess anymore? Oh, <laughs> Mal was a princess. Okay, I'm gonna try this too. I'm so good. Sorry, I like all the crumble on top. Okay. They're like, always good. Their ice creams are just always good. It's so good. I know. I like all their ice cream. Look like they're sure real good. I've had their sherbet small. Mm. Does that mean you're done? Well, I'm gonna eat that too. Huh? Mm -hmm. White chocolate. It's almost like when the Oreos are covered with white chocolate. Yeah. Those are the your best. Oreos. I never see them in the Me store. Either. Whenever I see them, I get them. But I just never see them anymore. You want to try this? Okay. I call it look the tastiest and it's the best part. Did you get the ice cream with it? Because you should get like the ice cream with it. It must be like fresh. Yeah. I mean, that's like a chocolatey waffle. It's so delicious. I just won't remember. I don't want to eat too much because like I know we're going to eat dinner. So I don't want to eat too much. That was like a little snack. I only had a plain hamburger today. I'll get wheat toast. But yeah, that was a fun photo shoot. I feel like the less equipment the photographer has, the more fun the photo shoot is. Yeah, they're very, it was so casual. They like, snap pictures, we got it. And they were excited about the photos. Like, I'm like covered in grass at one point. I'm like, no, this is great. I was like, okay. I would show you, but I don't wanna. Sweat. <laughs> I have to wait. Wait, I think this is the vlog, they'll see it. I don't know, the car is like shaking. I know, but I don't think it does that. I know, I've done that before, but I don't think it shows like that when you watch it back, because I always worry about it. Interesting. Yeah, I think the camera does stabilize to some degree, but it is funny. No, because I always am adjusting it, and then I look back, and I'm like, oh, it wasn't even shaking, because it happens. I usually, like, it's usually the car. I have to, like, turn off the car or something. But I'm hot. Okay. I don't need more shit, When you're done, you're done. No more. I'll have a bit. Okay. Ooh. I'm doing a new thing where I'm trying to eat moderation. I want some ice cream. I love ice cream. Now we walked today. It today. Thank you. We walked, we worked, we. I feel like we were doing so much. Like, what did we. Why does. Oh, we, we were gone in the afternoon. I was like, why did this day go by so fast in the afternoon? Oh, man, that's actually really good. Okay. Wow. Baskin Robbins, my nails match your spoons. If you want to sponsor us, let us know. If they made a spoon. <laughs> oh, like the duck nails? Those are coming back. Dash nails, who always does they my are? Etsy nails. She's sending me some. <laughs> She's making all these duck nails and she's like, no, they're like coming back. I'm like, and I tried to show her a picture of how my nails are still coming back. I wear those all the time. And they are huge wide duck nails. I can't wait to do ASMR with That's them. That's one thing that should have not come back. Babe, I love, I love those nails. And it was like so hard <laughs> to find people to do them. And I had to go to like Riverside to get them done. And they were like my favorite thing in the whole world. Pointy, square. Square is the most it should be. Once it starts. You'd rather have pointy over duck feet? I like square, no. but... Oh, do you? Is that your preferred? Yeah. I'm an architect. We like things very square. <laughs> Wait, sharp. is that why? You just like the design? Like this? Or, or like longer yeah, or shorter? Oh, nice. Well, it's this nice, was neutral. Square. I did the Americana issue, so I was like... Trying to be all-American with the pink. I guess I'm all-American in this gray t-shirt. This is Moses' t-shirt. 
and jeans. I'm just the all-American girl, I guess. That's where I got to take away from. <laughs> I'm gonna get more American than that. I'm, I wish I was eat I guess KFC is like, you know, I feel like I represent America with her food intake. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yep, that's Americans right there. Whatever, we like to eat, we have good food, we have Baskin Robbins. But I love Europe the Europeans too, so if you're in Europe and you get the King Kong magazine, I love you guys. I'm gonna come back soon. That's the name? Yeah. King Kong? Mm hmm You didn't know? Cool. I said other cool people were in there. I'm I'm honored. Yeah, you can show because it's gonna be in this vlog. I'm gonna post this when it comes out. Let's see. Okay, wow. Let me think about touching grass. <laughs> This is how you do it. Literally touch grass. This is how you do it. Oh touch my some gosh. Grass. Look at my, this is my Playboy era. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was feeling these photos. <laughs> I had fun. Literally. I mean, that literally looks like all American college cheerleader. Just, oh my God. My favorite, <laughs> my favorite is this one. That one is good. <laughs> Let me just casually. Oh my god. You're so funny. You're the funny one. I'm just filming it. I mean, I'm just literally just standing there. It's so funny because it was the easiest shoot. I'm like laying in a tanning bed. I'm staring straight ahead. She was just staring straight ahead. I'm like. Okay. Yeah, but why should it be hard? Usually it's like, oh, like doing the most. I'm so tired. I'm like, this is. The only thing was I was getting hungry, but other than that. Also, I had such a good hairstyle today. I tried it out for the first time, Rachel. But I love how you can like switch my part with this hairstyle. Like usually they spray so much where I can't move. Like this That's is like crazy. sexy. Mm -hmm. She does such a good job. Um, I love my male hairstyles, obviously, but I feel like a girl knows because she was so soft putting everything in. She could just know because I have a, like a sensitive scalp and like how to take things out and stuff. So I feel like they just know more like how it feels on like our yeah, hair. Yeah, because usually your hair from here to here is a glue. Yeah, I have to wash but it. I just can't even get my hands in there. I guess I should do like a light hairspray or for I'm like light, like very light. And I I should have worn it like this for the shoot, actually. I didn't never do it this side. I feel like myself today. Like we should go out to dinner because I like never feel cute and I feel cute. Felt okay. cute, might delete later. I mean that was the first rule you learned was if I was glam, don't even think about ordering in. He's like, you wanna get dominoes or what was it? Something I was Oh man, I think that's the first time you might have seen me in a mood, and I feel like I haven't been in those moods in a while. But actually, it wasn't like because we were. It was a long day. We didn't have lunch, so in my mind, I was like, I'm gonna have a slice of pizza and then go to dinner. Right now that I know that about I you, which is like, I can't do. Like when someone eats a slice I can of pizza, have lunch two hours before dinner. Yeah, that's I can't do that. I mean, if it's past one o'clock, I will not eat dinner. I'm like, that's this is this is too close now, and it stresses <laughs> me out when he eats it so close. I'm like, no, nope, can't lasagna because you're eating lunch and lunch late, like. Yeah, no, that is weird. Don't worry about me. <laughs> yeah, that's true, I guess. Yeah, but I was like so annoyed. I was like, no, like, we were supposed to go out. And I just sat there and didn't eat anything. And I was so hungry. Maybe I did. Maybe I had a nugget. <laughs> oh, because you know what it was? You had this thing. I don't know what. It was that combo of yeah. the Mac nuggets and, and pizza. Yeah. And having the nuggets on the pizza or something like that. Yes. And I was super excited about that. But what happened? Why did I get mad then if I ordered it? Because I think like you ordered it not realizing how late it's becoming. Because maybe it was like what? 2 o'clock and it became 3 o'clock and 4 I don't know, something. Or maybe you wanted... You want... Like you wanted me to get... Like for us to go to dinner. And when that happened, you realize that's not happening, but this is happening. I don't know. It was like. No, I don't know either because you wouldn't have like ordered Domino's. That's not something you would have chosen. So it's no. like weird. We had the Domino's pizza there. I don't exactly know. That's what you wanted. Did you order it maybe? I don't know. No, that's definitely weird. not. Yeah, that's true. Because I didn't know what to order. <laughs> I just remember being annoyed <laughs> and I felt so bad because a lot of times you saw me moody. I really try not to be moody anymore. I think it works. We know no one to feed me and. You know, when it's 11.30, if it goes past noon, he's like, let's leave right now. So we're there right at noon. Because it does, there is that like fine, like half hour mark where I'm fine, I'm fine. And then I just get so hungry and I'm, and I go downstairs and I just make pasta or something. Because I'm just like, no, I'm like starving. Like it's weird. It's very odd. Yeah. I used to not think about food before noon. Like noon, I would just start thinking about food. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm more midday, but I always think like a lunch is like 11. I used to always eat dinner really early, too. I used to always eat dinner like 5 or 6, but we eat a little well, it's later. It's healthy to eat dinner before 6. I feel like we will, like once Malibu, hi, once Malibu starts to like eat dinner with us and stuff, like we're starting to dance family, because like in school, too, we'd always eat at like 5, 5.30. She kind of, I mean, she eats what we eat. No, I know, but I mean like a sit-down dinner, because I feel like that, like when she starts getting a certain age, like we should have like family dinners, like sitting down at the table, talking mm -hmm. to each other. I want to get her a little tray. No, I mean, right now we sit in front of the TV watching, which is like, I love it. But I think there's something special about a family dinner. Especially the shows we watch, she won't be able to watch when she's like five. You know, I'll have to wait till she goes to bed, you know. I had 90 days. <laughs> no, I mean, that's probably fine, I guess. But she can't stay up. She's been staying up with us, but she can't forever. She can watch the Kardashian. Yeah, there's certain shows. There's certain shows like Home Improvement. I always want to watch with my parents and my mom always wanted to go to bed. And now we're watching Home Improvement all night long. I love that show. I love Tim Allen. He has a, he has a, oh, this, oh my God, this is He has like a 13 year old daughter. And I was like, well, maybe she'll watch my videos and like see. And maybe Tim Allen will come on my podcast. I think he might be like conservative, which I don't know. I don't know his values, but I like him. He's I mean, so funny in Wild Hogs. I loved that movie last night. You can always talk to him about that. Uh, entertainment. You don't need to talk politics. No, I yeah, I want it. I, I want it. I just really want to know about like Wild Hogs and Jungle to Jungle and like the style of it. I don't know. I just love everything about him. In I wonder where he is. Probably not California. <laughs> Probably not. No. All right. Home Improvement's like all American to me. That's like the all American the family, you know, like the man has his garage, the, and tools, the tools, and, and the woman's like, "Let's go to dinner." And they have three, three boys, boys out in the back, and like even their. Anyways, all right, we gotta get going. Love you guys. I look so good. I feel like I should keep making videos all day. I'm like, I never look this good. I really love this hair. I'm like, I mean, Ari always kills it, but this hair is like my favorite. I feel very Pam. So, all right. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> you always look good, babe. We got the pizza, ice cream and pizza. Fettuccine Alfredo. Mm. So, so good.